so i just thought i would do a little update just at the beginning of this vlog wait i should probably say hello hi guys <laughs> welcome back um i just wanted to do a little update because so many of you guys have been asking how she settled and everything and i did actually film these clips of what we have bought her just at the beginning of sorry not at the beginning what am i on about in my previous vlog i filmed some clips of like the stuff that we bought for her but that was actually before we got her obviously now we have her here so you're about to see me from the past but i thought i would just include a few little updates as well and show you guys how she's doing so i will add that in after i've spoken about all of the treats that we've got her and show you a bit more pinky footage and also some things that we've bought since we've got her because we did have to buy a couple of extra bits um so yeah roll on the clips hey <laughs> hello hi guys welcome back to my vlog channel so i am actually filming this within another vlog and i've just decided that i'm gonna film an intro and do this separately because i had so many things that i was showing you guys i was like this is a whole video in itself so if you have seen my previous vlog you will have seen that we are getting a puppy but i thought i would show you some of the bits that we got her just for her first day as i'm filming this now we haven't collected her yet we're collecting her this afternoon but i thought it would be helpful maybe to show some of you guys if you're getting a new dog if anyone has any suggestions please let me know for extra things that we might need or good things that you suggest so we've bought loads of stuff for her over the past like week um we pretty much got everything that we need obviously because she's coming today and i'm just going to quickly show you some of the bits that we've bought i will leave links for these bits down below most of the stuff we ended up getting on amazon some of the stuff we've got from pet stores as well uh, a little bit of a mixture only because because this happened all so quickly we needed stuff to be ordered pretty rapidly you know um so amazon was a pretty good option to get stuff quickly because of prime and stuff like that i'm just going to show you show you her crate and then i'll come and sit down and show you some of the other bits i did learn a lot of this stuff from fabulous hannah's vlog if you guys um don't follow fab fab han she has got a puppy she had a tiny little puppy and i think it's a girl called Sunny and she's really really sweet but Hannah had an amazing video of stuff that she got her puppy and I got a lot of this stuff from her video so we've got a crate which was from Amazon we've just put this blanket over it at the moment um obviously not everybody does crate training but we've decided that we are going to try crate training at the start because I know that it works for a lot of people but I know that it is a personal preference and we will never use the crate as a negative place it will always just be her cozy little hideaway a safe place where she can go and we want her to feel safe in her crate and have it as like her little sort of happy place and like her little shelter and we will never use the crate as a punishment i just want to put that out there because i know that some people put their dog in their crate when they've been naughty or whatever but we're not going to do that we just want the crate to be like a happy safe place for her so this bed was from pets at home and then we've actually got this stuff down on the bottom of it which is called vet fleece which is something that hannah recommended and i can't yeah wait, there we go if i lift it up it's got a sort of hard base to it and then it's super soft and kind of fluffy and cozy and apparently this stuff is really really good if they do have an accident in the night or something it kind of sinks to the bottom of this and then obviously because it's hard it doesn't kind of soak through onto the floor and then they're not just like lying in their own we then we got this mat which is just a silicone mat to put the food bowls on and then we've got two food bowls which are identical which are from pets at home for obviously food and water we want to spoil her i'm sure all of this stuff is not necessary so i guess the some of the most important things are like collars and leads and stuff we went for a halty which is a harness which looks like this and obviously the dog just kind of slips into it and this goes around its body and then you attach the lead here and with a a halty or a halty halty it's supposed to stop your dog from pulling we were actually recommended this from the rescue place they said that they highly recommend that everybody gets one of these because we had a little group chat and a lot of you guys actually recommended these to us on twitter i just want to say as well thank you so much to everyone that follows me on twitter for all the questions i've been asking about dog stuff thank you so much for all your responses that has been honestly so helpful there's also a really good guy on youtube called zach george that does a lot of like dog and puppy videos this is a no pull harness we got it in a size small but the rescue place said if it doesn't fit then we can exchange it because they sell them there as well so this is her halty we then also by the same brand have got her a halty collar we just got a little purple one because purple is james's favorite 
favourite colour. He wanted to get purple. And what's quite funny is pink is my least favourite colour, but our little dog is called Pinky, so maybe it will make me learn to love pink. I don't know. We got a size small and a size medium just because we weren't quite sure what size she's going to need. And we thought, if this is too small, we can just use this one. And if this is too big, then we'll use this one and she might grow into this. And then we've just got a little like dog tag on there with our information in case she gets lost. We've got a couple of leads. We went for the Halty training lead, which again was recommended by the rescue place. And this says it's got eight different ways that you can use it. So you can, again, it's like a no pull type lead and you can attach it in multiple different places. And apparently this is also really good for training your dog. That's well, I mean, it's called a training lead. So we've got one of those. We also then just went for this basic lead from Amazon, which just like attaches as normal. It's just a a black lead and it's got the padded handle as well so it's comfortable for walking it did also come with one of these little poo bag dispenser things and it comes with a few poo, poo bags in here but we do already have another one of those i didn't realize it was going to come with poo bags but this is just like a regular lead which had really good reviews and apparently it's like really strong so that's good something that is really important as well is by law you have to have your dog secured somehow in your car you can't just have it like roaming around i know that a lot of people do that but it's actually illegal in the uk anyway the uk law says that you have to have your dog somehow kind of not restrained what's the word like you know attached to something so that it doesn't just run around and jump on your lap when you're driving so we got a two pack of these and this is by a brand called just pet zone so these actually go around the headrest this doesn't go around your dog also if you're putting your dog in the car and you've got one of these never attach it to their collar that's really really dangerous because if you, if you were to crash and have an accident then it will just be like pulling on its neck which you don't want so this actually clips onto the harness so that it's like on its body and then this bit goes around the headrest of your car and then it's got a sort of elasticated bit so that your dog can't you know escape or run around the car and we actually got a two pack of those so me and james can have one in each of our cars in terms of blankets and stuff we did have quite a few already which are dog suitable to be honest most blankets are fine as long as they don't have loads of fluffy bits on it that it can kind of chew off and chew apart you can just get baby blankets i did go for a pack of these dog blankets which i actually got on ebay these were i think it was they were really cheap it was like five or six pounds for three of them they are quite small so i do have another two over there that aren't out of the packet um but they just look like this and it's just to provide an extra layer of comfort and warmth for your dog i think when we go and pick her up we're gonna have this that we can wrap around her and also we're gonna buy a little fleece from the rescue place because they said that in the colder months it's good to have a little like fleece jacket for them so we're gonna get one of those later i then got this blanket which was i thought this was gonna be bigger this was like i think it was 12.99 which is quite a lot for this little square of blanket but it, it this one is a specific dog blanket is by a brand called alessandro and it says cozy life for pets i don't know whether a regular sort of fluffy blanket like this would be okay but this one like if you pull on these fluffy bits they don't seem to come off like it's quite a robust blanket which i guess that's why because i've had similar blankets like this in the past where if you pull on these bits they will just like come out in clumps but this one doesn't so maybe that's why just so that she can have a little snuggly place if she wants to sit next to us on the sofa she can have this nice cozy squidgy blanket oh my god i'm so excited i've literally wanted a dog since i was a teenager i used to be obsessed with pugs and i was determined that when i grew up i wanted to get a pug my parents never let me get a dog because we obviously had cats and they didn't want to scare the cats but yeah i used to be adamant that i was going to get a pug which i do think are adorable but then when i looked into it more there's so much inbreeding that goes on with pugs and they have so many health issues because people breed you know their family pugs together that are related and then they end up with all sort of health issues and i just didn't want to buy into that like I know that it's a personal preference for everyone and if you are buying a dog, fair enough. I know that people have their reasons, some people need to get a hypoallergenic dog, that kind of stuff, but I would highly encourage you to look into rescuing if you are looking at getting a dog because there are so many great dogs out there that need a home and not just from abroad as well there are so many dogs in the uk that need rescuing as well it just so happened that the charity that we went with in the end was dogs that were coming from romania but there are so many dogs all over the world that need a home and if you can rescue one of those 
I think that is amazing. So yeah, we got some Paw Pride dog waste bags. These are actually biodegradable. Went for these ones for that reason. They are lemon scented and they also come with another one of those dispenser things. Oh, and there's 240 bags in there, which is gonna keep us going for a while. We got this blanket, which is a microfiber towel. This was also pretty cheap. I think it was about six or seven pounds. Um, and this is just, it's basically just a regular microfiber towel. But this one was actually a bit cheaper than some of the uh, ones for humans that I saw and this is called the big dogs towel by a brand called snuggle safe um, And because it's microfiber it dries a lot quicker So if we take her for a walk and she gets wet or something We or if she has a bath we can dry her off with this and this dries a lot quicker So moving on to treats and toys, which I think is the last thing. Oh wait, actually no I'll do this first. Wow, these are really heavy. These are by a brand called earth rated, which I think is this Is that the same brand? No, the earth rated do make a lot of dog stuff and they also make poo bags but their ones weren't as biodegradable as these ones, which I ended up buying. These are some dog wipes. So you can use these to wipe their paws. You can use them to wipe their body if they get muddy. Um, you can use them to wipe their face, I believe. And they are compostable wipes. They're hypoallergenic and they're alcohol free. So, and they are made specifically for dogs. So they are dog safe. Just in case, I don't know, we go somewhere and she gets muddy paws and we want to wipe her paws before, you know, if we're going to some, around somebody's house or something, it's just handy to have these rather than having to bath her. Um, in, if we were somewhere else, do you get what I mean? And then finally moving on to toys and treats. James actually bought these. I can't remember where he got them from. Maybe he got them from Pets at Home. Uh, I don't know. These are called Misfits Scruffy Bites. These are both the same. These are with poultry, so they're just some dog treats. And then we've also got some Misfits Nasher Sticks, which are chicken and beef flavour, which are to like help with cleaning their teeth and stuff. They like chew on these. It does say on the back of these, not suitable for young puppies under four months. So I think we might wait a little bit before we give her some of these just in case. I mean, she is over four months now, but I don't know. We'll see kind of how big she is and stuff and make sure that we follow all the guidelines on the packets and stuff. We got a Kong toy, which again, we got this from Pets at Home. And this, I don't actually know if this one's gonna be a little bit too big. If it is, we'll just buy one of the smaller ones. Um, but this is a toy which they can chew on. Loads, so many people recommended these to me. So thank you everyone on Twitter that suggested these. It was in pretty much every dog training video. These are supposed to be really, really good. And you can actually put um, treats on the inside of here that they can try and eat. And I did also buy some peanut butter for dogs, which is by a brand called the Regal Mutt, that you can put a little bit of peanut butter inside here and apparently it keeps them occupied for ages. I've been told that it's really good to have a different range of toys and chews and stuff like that just to keep them occupied so they don't start chewing your furniture and stuff that you don't want them to chew. So the Kong toy is apparently an essential, so we've got one of those. Jameson got this, I think he got this from Pets at Home, which I think, I mean, I think he got this mostly for me because I love elephants they're my favourite animal if you didn't know but it is a dog toy it's a squeaky dog toy and this is going to be her little elephant also again from Pets at Home he got a couple of sort of puppy chew rope things there's a ball so we can play fetch when she learns how to play fetch a couple of different chewy um rope toys then i got this bag of toys off of amazon which was like a mixed toy pack i think it was 12.99 for all of these toys this was actually the exact pack that hannah recommended from her video fabulous hannah and it comes with a variety of different things so there's different textures of toys in here there's this rubbery chewy pull toy thing it comes with a couple of cord toys as well which are made of this um material and there's a little dark and a carrot there's a regular sort of pull chew tug of war thing there's a couple of other little ropes there's another ball there's another chewy pull thing there's this ring pull toy and then the final toy in here is this rubber one that's got like different sort of teeth on it so i think that is everything that we've got her so far. But obviously we will continue to buy her stuff. So if anybody has got any recommendations for dog toys or dog, just anything dog related, if you've got any recommendations, that'll be super helpful. Um, so yeah, probably will actually get her some more sort of rubbery toys because she doesn't have many rubber toys. We're only getting her today. So this is just what we've got to start with, which I think is quite a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, we're pretty well prepared. If anybody's got any suggestions, please do let me know. Hello. You've been enjoying your Kong and your peanut butter. Are you gonna show me that little pink belly? Oh. Oi, no, don't chew my sleeve. You <laughs> chew the elephant. Nom. Nom. Is that yummy? You want your Kong? So 
So just a little update on how she's doing. It's actually Monday today when I'm filming this. It's day four that she's been here. So we got her on Friday and we've had her the whole weekend and she has been amazing, honestly. Um, I don't know whether it's because she's still a bit tired, although she doesn't seem it. She kind of got over her sleepiness after the first night and then the next day she just seemed so playful and so excited and when we come down in the morning she gets so excited and starts running around the house and sprinting all over the place and just getting really excited but things that are definitely interesting we haven't actually heard her bark or cry yet we've heard her growl a little bit the only time she's growled is when she's been looking at her own reflection i think because she doesn't understand reflections yet and she thinks that it's another dog so she will sit here and stare at the window and be growling because she thinks that she's staring at another dog which is really funny but that's actually the only time that we've heard her make any noises other than she does snore a little bit because she seems to enjoy sleeping on her back which is quite funny um but yeah she hasn't barked and she hasn't wind yet which is interesting i don't know whether um she will continue to stay like that or you know maybe she's just a more quiet dog or maybe it's just because she's still young and maybe she will bark with age i don't know but she's been amazing she still is a little bit nervous at times but um, for the most part she seems so comfortable the only times that she's been a bit nervous is when we've taken her out into the garden and she can hear other people um walking around in the roads and stuff or this morning when I took her out there was a bit of construction and in terms of her toilet training and stuff and how the crate training is going so we are crate training her which I think I did mention in the previous vlog maybe I don't know maybe maybe I didn't oh, I think it's in this video I think I mentioned it earlier I know that not everybody crate trains the dog and that it's a personal choice and stuff but something that I will say is that we will never ever use her crate as a negative space or a punishment or anything like that and i know that some people think that crates are cruel however she hasn't shown any signs of distress being in her crate she's quite happy to go in there we put her bed in there and some blankets and some toys and give her treats and she seems totally fine and she's only actually weed in the night once in the house and all the other times she has been to the toilet outside, which is pretty amazing. She's already sitting when we tell her to. We've taught her, we've taught her sit already and it's only been four days. So she's learning really quickly and she's a very smart dog and we just love her so much. We're so obsessed with her and she's so obsessed with us. She just seems so happy and she loves attention as puppies do and loves love and she loves playing. And yeah, she's just been... A little angel and today actually she's discovered her kong because we had given her her kong toy we were worried that we'd got one that was a bit too big because originally we bought the size small but then we thought that it might be too small and she might choke on it but then when we got her and we'd already exchanged it for a medium we were like oh maybe this one's a bit too big and she hadn't tried chewing it until today we put a little bit of the doggy peanut butter in it and now she seems to be loving it because she seems to love chewing on the rubbery toys oh just thing that i th just one thing that i think is really important to note wait let me just find it oh hello you coming over pinks your ear is folded the wrong way <laughs> Bloop. hello angel hello hello what's up one thing that i do think is quite important to note one of these toys which they sell these at pets oh yeah i lost it i lost a fingernail <laughs> They sell these at pets at home but we actually got this as a pack in a pack of toys that we got on amazon we had to take this away from her just because these little bobbly bits rip off really easily we've got it here i don't think she swallowed it because we've got the little pinky bit <laughs> pinky bit <laughs> but my point is that toy i think is maybe a bit dangerous because she is able to rip off the little pieces of plastic from it so i took that away from her and then also i did buy her a couple more things from pets at home which i'll just show you now so i did get her a couple more bits from pets at home just because she was just wanting to chew stuff that i think she prefers chewing stuff that's longer because she was trying to chew was she trying to chew that she enjoyed chewing oh when we went in the garden she was picking up a stick and trying to chew that but obviously like we didn't want her to swallow pieces of stick so i thought i'd get her some dental sticks which are puppy ones i got her these which are specifically for puppies these were from pets home they were 99p each they're the pedigree denta two bows chew bows for puppies so i got a couple packs of those i also got these which are by a brand called just for puppy which are dental sticks as well so i got some of those and she seems to really enjoy chewing on those oh i did also 
by these, which are the Wainwright's Dog's Best Friend Lamb and Rice Puppy Training Treats, which are really, really tiny. And these have been really good for training. So we always kind of give her one of those if she sits or when she goes for a wee in the garden, that kind of thing. I did get a couple more rubber toys and pets at home. However, again, had to take this one off her. These were only like some cheap toys from Pets at Home, but I got her this rubber stick because she seemed to like chewing sticks. However, can you see the end of this? She actually chewed little pieces off of it and I was sitting with her. Luckily, I didn't just give her this and then let her chew it. Like she, when we do give her a new toy, we supervise her and make sure that it's all okay. But this stick, she started chewing the little pieces off. So again, I thought that was a bit of a choking hazard. So I took it off her um, because that worried me. So I haven't given her that one back. And then I did also buy her these burger and chips toys, which were also just from the pets at home, kind of like cheap dog toys section. Cause I thought that these might be okay. Oh my God, that was really loud. Sorry, Pinky. <laughs> but I haven't given her those yet because I'm a little bit nervous that she might just chew them apart again. Um, I think she needs some stronger toys like the Kong material because with a Kong toy, like there's such thick rubber that I don't think a dog could really destroy that unless they're super strong. She seems to be really enjoying all of her toys and she's just the sweetest little thing. You like your carrot, don't you, Pinky? Huh? Oh, her little ears. You're just my favourite little thing in the whole world. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You've been so good, haven't you, Pink? Uh uh uh. Pinky, who's that? Hello. Hello. You're a bit sleepy. Smell that peanut butter from your Kong. <laughs> You're just the cutest thing ever. Ever, ever, ever. And as you can see, she's got her bed, which is just next to us on the sofa. But we have also put a blanket on the sofa just here so she can have a little spot on the sofa as well because we quite like having a cuddle with her. I know that not everybody lets their pets on the sofas, but we let her on the sofa when she's got her blanket and we've just been like picking her up and putting her on the sofa rather than letting her jump up on it. Yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, also as well, just one thing. I'm gonna be doing a Q&A with a bit more about her. So if you guys have got any, any questions or anything, let me know down below because I'm sure that, well, a lot of people have been asking all sorts of different types of questions. So if you have got any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I also asked you on my Instagram. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this here. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.